Just going to do a little first impression review of the Pedalcraft 10. Had my eye on these things for a while now. Um, they come out with the original gear drive unit, that one there, but um, due to a little infringement apparently, um, they've had to go to a belt drive unit and they've had a few issues with them. So I've uh, just been keeping my eye, apparently the issues are all sorted now. But um, this thing popped up for sale with the original gear drive unit, so I thought I'll snaffle that and give them a test. From everything I've um, read about, the only sort of bad thing, if you call it that, is where the, where the rudder hangs down. You see it's just below that line of level, so, which is a bit of a pain for where I fish, dragging over stuff all the time, so I may cut it off or buy another rudder and cut it off below that line there and just see how it works with that. Um, if it doesn't turn as good I can always bolt some aluminium or something onto there and make that a little bit longer just to help with the steering. But um, I'll see how it goes anyway and go give it a run. Just going to put the, um, the rudder in. Goes in there. Don't know if you can see that. And just stood up with the Allen key. So. highly recommended take it on and off he's a little bit rounded in there there it is it's on you'll see it's just that a little bit lower round it back over Also came with the uh, the sander, which I'm stoked about. Battery just goes in the back there, connects up. There's the seats, all adjustable. unit goes into there the one scupper plugs in the front there put them in this is how you turn your rudder so the drive unit hopefully this uh, GoPro is in the right spot just Bonks in there, just slide them across, make sure you've got enough water, just drops down, just on the bottom, plonks in, plonk that over and you're done. So you just paddled out, just gonna drop that down. that in feeding the old pedals might have to adjust this probably hit the road oh this is got to get used to it they've turned the um, the thing around I'm treating it like an outboard at the moment but you can change the wires so now it's um, 
going the direction you point it. I'm used to the outboard. Bit of boogies. I'll do a speed test later. <laughs> Santa works good. And then if you want to go backwards, oh, it stops quick. How good's this? Yeah, first impression, very happy with it. I don't know if you can see that, I'm just going to do a little bit of a speed test. It's sitting on 4Ks an hour right now. Six, seven. Hard on the legs at seven. If you're just cruising. 5k an hour, just cruising nicely. Six, seven. So pretty well identical to me outboard motors. But the turning circle's really good. Really impressed with that. Look at that. Back the other way. Certainly going to give the legs a workout. Yeah, I might revert back to the old uh, tiller steer direction, I think. Just confuses me. Handy having this reverse, it's brilliant. I've just taken the foot straps off, giving it a go. And I reckon it's a lot better without them on there. That's heaps easier. Not in that, you can put your feet down then, have a little rest, move your legs around, and then just back on again. Ah oh man, this is awesome. going to definitely change that back to a tiller steer operation. There. Extremely happy with it. It goes really good. Really good. Whew. Just also thought I'd show to get this up. Put that off. Make sure that comes up. Lock it down. You're done. Pull a paddle out and you're a bit shallow. Best of both worlds. You can obviously use it as a paddling kayak. If you're going into the little creeks, just leave the pedal unit at home. So you sit really high in this, but it's also really stable. You can just put that on. One of the most stable kayaks I've been in. Really good, really good. Stand up and cast all day in this thing. used to sitting down and casting these days though but uh gives you a second option really impressed for the price the, these things are really good value 